Hi, Mama. Guys, I am going to show you how I start with my um, do-it-yourself antique restoration project. That's what I'm going to call it, yeah. Um, I found two pieces of um, antique furniture and it was about to be um, thrown out, I mean destroyed in the garbage dump and everything and um, I thought it was uh, two good pieces that I could um, save and I could use as a makeup um, a vanity or a makeup organizer slash jewelry organizer um, kind of table or whatever. Um, anyway, um, I have decided that I was going to strip it and chip away anything that's deformed or whatever and just have it replaced and painted and sanded down and whatever. So these are the stuff. I went to Home Depot. Uh, me and Cece went to Home Depot and this is what we got to start it off with. We haven't gotten everything we needed because we want to go um, step by step. So this is the first thing that we've got to initially, you know, like to start it, to start it off. Um, we got... Um, some stripper, paint stripper. Um, it strips paint and from the wood, metal, all that. So since we're working with um, wood, this is good to take all of that old paint um, and all the old, um, there was plaster on it too because it was like in a basement and, and I don't know what they did to it but they really messed it up. It has different color paints on it. It has plaster. It has a whole bunch of garbage on it. So this um, is really good to scrape everything off and make it just just to make it naked, you know, like um, just for the wood and nothing else on it. So I could like actually start from scratch. So um, we decided that we were gonna get um, instead of um, using like a varnish kind of um, paint or what, like a brown or cherry wood or whatever. I wanted to do something different. So we chose. <laughs> We chose um, this. I don't know if you can see it. It's like a peach kind of color. I don't know if you can see it. It's like a peach color. It's natural peach. And that's what we're going to use to paint it after we're done with the stripping and the restoration and all that. These are all the supplies that we bought. We bought the brushes. And this is to um, remove. The, the stripper to remove the, the old paint using this on the curved edges and on the legs and hard to get places. This is good for that. I got the disposable gloves when I'm working with the paint. We also got um, sandpaper um, for wood. Alright, so we're going to be using this to sand down the wood. Um, and then this is the, this is the hard one the medium or the hard surface one and then once we finish with this and everything is um, filed down we're going to be using this to sandpaper um, the wood this is a softer this is a fine material here so first this one and then we're going to use this one and I also got these really really cute um, handles or doorknobs these are not, but I'm about to open this. They really seal good. Ugh. All right. See, I look at how gorgeous this is. I don't know if you can if you can see this, but this is so gorgeous. I bought um, two of these to go on the side doors of the the big table that we're working on, and I also got um, these right here. These are for the these are for the um, the writers table. Look at how cute this is. So yeah, I got two of these. No, actually, I'm sorry, I got three of these. Two that go in the bottom drawer. They have there's like two bottom drawers, and then the, the top table folding table. One goes on top and two goes in the bottom. So this is for the writer's table and this is for my little vanity, the makeup table. And I also got this. This has nothing to do with the project, but I got um, a really nice decal that goes, I plan to put this 
over oh my goodness aura she always wants to come out in my videos always anyway this is gonna go over my um the headboard of our bed and it says always kiss me good night can you see that aura i mean kiara i get distracted get confused with the names did you, did you get this always kiss me good night this is sort of like our little thing me and tc we have to kiss each other good night and I also kiss the kids good night. It's like a little um, little traditional thing that we do every night. We all kiss each other good night and hug each other good night. So this is gonna go over our um, bed. It's like a little sticker, like a little um, decal, whatever you wanna call it. It goes over our, our head, headboard, our bed. And I guess that's it, guys. Um, the total for all this came out to. Um, I have two separate receipts because I paid for half and TC paid for the other half. So, um, all together it came out to $86, which you see here. $86. So, and we're not finished yet. This is just to begin it, to start it. Okay, and the paint, is, of course, is the last thing. But um, I'm going to be using like a lacquer type of um, paint on top of this paint. So, once this is dry... Then we're going to go back to Home Depot and get what else we need to um, go on top of this paint. Like uh, We're going to get, like, like I said, like a lacquer kind, like an acrylic. Uh, we get spoons flying around in the house too. Anyway, we're, I'm going to get like, a, like an acrylic type or a lacquer type of paint to go on top of this. To give it like a glossy shine to it. And I'm also going to get three custom made um, glass pieces to go on top of the, the table to protect it. Anyway guys, this is just part one I thought I'd share and I'll go through the process when we when we start um, to use all this. I'll do a video and um, I'll show you guys how we do from the beginning to the end. The before and after. Alright guys, I will talk to you soon. Guys, so this is the first piece that I'm going to be working on. I'm going to be stripping the paint off of it and basically it'll be just removing all the old paint and all the plaster and all the garbage that was on top of it and ultimately revealing the underlying wood to and make it into its first um the original form. All right, so basically like I said, like I said um, I am going to strip off all the original paint or all the old paint that was on top of this piece and this is what I'm using. I'm using the, the stripper um, and this basically takes away strips of all paint from wood. And I've already poured some in here and I'm going to start. I'm going to start putting it on top. I'm going to put it wherever I need to strip off all the old paint. According to the can, the instructions on it, this will take about 15 minutes after I apply it. And then I'll be able to strip off all the old paint. I'll be able to strip it all off and then we can continue to work with it. But I'm gonna just go all over. I'm gonna go all over. Okay, all this. I'm just giving you an idea of what I have to do. This is just an idea. But you get the picture. All this has to be stripped. And I will get back to you after I quote unquote paint all this with the stripper. And I'm ready to strip it off. So I'll see you guys in 15 minutes. This right here is already um, stripped on top here in the center and as previously I showed you TC was um, scraping off all 
the wood from the top here. So he basically he removed the, the top layer of the wood that was really corroded and messed up. It had um, cracks in it. It was bubbled up, I guess, from water damage. It was just um, really, really, really damaged. And um, we needed to remove the top layer. So now what we're going to do here is sand it all down. And we're going to sand everything down. Everything down. And this is the first phase. <laughs> so yeah, basically that's what we did. We used um, this to remove all the wood. And we used this. We used this. We used all these to remove the top layer. And that's all the wood on the floor there. So now we're basically going to buff everything. We're going to um, sand down everything with a machine that we have. All right, now here, what Cece's doing, he's basically stripping off the paint. Whatever old paint and plaster and whatever garbage was on it, Cece's removing it. Babe, let me see the brush that you're using. This is the brush that he's using. And it's coming off. All the old paint is coming off, as you can see. Basically, that's what we're going to be doing now. We're going to be taking off all the old paint. Wherever I put the stripper on, that's what's coming off right now. Alright guys, this is how it looks after it's stripped. And we um, wiped it down with a very damp towel to take off any dust. This is the drawer inside. I just discovered that we had this drawer. I did not know about this drawer. I am so happy. Oh my God, look at how beautiful it is. Oh, cannot wait to finish this. Anyway, just thought I'd share this part with the drawer inside. <laughs> oh, all right. Cece finished using the sand, uh, um, the electrical sander. 
and he made everything nice and smooth. Everything is smooth. And the top here that was damaged, he's smoothed it all. He smoothed it all out. It's all smooth. It's all nice. So now I am ready to paint this with. This is natural peach. This is what I'm going to be using. Natural peach. And I have the brushes here. This is going to be for the top part. And this is going to be for the small details, like the legs and whatever. And next time you see this, it's going to be painted. And I'll add the little, little knobs that go with it. So here I am applying the first coat of paint. Yeah. Oh my god, I am so excited about this. Now this, what I'm doing now is I am decorating the outlines of the, um, the designs of the wood. This is the door right here to the side. And I didn't want to spend too much money on paint. I already painted this and I spent enough money I think on paint. So I had white nail polish, 99 cents, that's all you need really. This is just an idea I came up with. I am using white nail polish to color and outline the designs of the wood. As you can see. Voila. Now I'm going to do the details over here on the sides. I'm gonna do this. And over here too, I'm going to use the nail polish to outline the design of the wood here. And there you go. 99 cents white nail polish. You can use any color you want. That's your preference. That's up to you. I just thought I'd share this part. <laughs> nail polish to design your wood piece here, your antique furniture. I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay. Good job. So this is the final stage to my project. I got a can of poly polyurethane. Polyurethane. I think that's how you pronounce it. I don't know. But anyway, you can read. This is what I got. It's a clear gloss that goes over the paint and as you can see I already did the details and put in the doorknobs so I'm going to put um, a very thick coat over it and I'm done this was a fun project it took about four days to do because I had to wait between coats or whatever to dry and um, it took about three days and this will dry overnight and what I plan to do is this part right here I'm gonna cut 
I'm gonna have um, custom made glass here custom made glass here the top and on the top over here too I'm gonna have custom made glass so it's gonna be one two three pieces of glass to protect it and that's it guys um I'm gonna go ahead and put a really thick coat of this clear gloss over here hey guys this is a quick look at the vanity that I had restored the antique vanity and this is the end result and um, I have the mirror over it already and I have all my Victoria's Secret and lotions and all that so this is my little corner here and I have the little makeup light on the side isn't it awesome and in the inside drawers in here I have um, more makeup in there and I have more makeup in here I have my eyelashes and mascara and eyeliners and all that they're all in here and um, I'll do another video to show my makeup stuff later on but for now this is I just wanted to show you the end result of my vanity table